हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू डी एडमी होप्स आप सभी का प्रिपरेशन बहुत अच्छे से चल रहे हैं तो हम कंटिन्यू कर रहे हैं हमारे फिल्म रिवीजन सीरीज़ के साथ एंड दिस इज़ पार्ट 26 सिक्स ऑफ द रिवीजन सीरीज तो होप यू हैव सीन द 25 पार्ट्स तो हम इस रिवीजन सीरीज में साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी के लास्ट वन एंड हाफ ईयर करंट अफेयर्स कवर कर रहा हूँ कवर कर रहे हैं हम तो होप आप सभी कंटिन्यूसली रिवाइज कर रहे हैं ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट एरियाज बिकॉज एज यू नो फिल्म इज ऑल अबाउट आइडेंटिफाइंग द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दैट यू नीड कंटिन्यूस रिविजन एंड ऑल्सो वन मोर थिंग इज दैट गो थ्रू द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन परफेक्टली दैट वॉट यू विल नो इज यू विल नो द हाई यील्डिंग एरियाज सो एज लेस टाइम इज अवेलेबल नाउ वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज यू हैव टू कंटिन्यूसली रिवाइज दिस हाई यील्डिंग एरियाज सो इफ यू इफ यूर एबल टू रिवाइज दिस हाई यील्डिंग एरियाज कंटिन्यूसली थरोली वेल so that means you you will be able to answer these questions because from these high yielding areas maximum questions are been asked over time so questions are definitely going to be asked again and when the question is asked you will be able to answer the question in the exam okay so now let's begin with the lecture to is lecture mein hum miscellaneous areas se cover kar rahe hain from science and technology to first we will talk about the microbial fuel cell आफ्टर दैट हम देखते हैं भारत स्टेज एमिशन स्टैंडर्ड्स के बारे में आफ्टर दैट वी विल टॉक अबाउट द हाइड्रोथर्बल कार्बोने कार्बनाइजेशन टेक्नोलॉजी आफ्टर दैट हम देखते हैं ओगजोकुल ग्लेशियर वेर इट इज लोकेटेड एंड ऑल आफ्टर दैट वी विल टॉक अबाउट इथेनॉल द गोल्ड स्मिथ आफ्टर दैट हम देखते हैं ग्रीन क्रैकर्स के बारे में आफ्टर दैट वी विल टॉक अबाउट द टोटल पोलमराइज टोटल पोलार कॉम्पाउंड्स टी पी सी वॉट इज इट ऑल अबाउट आफ्टर दैट वी विल टॉक अबाउट द टोरी फ्रैक्शन टू रिड्यूस द स्टबल बर्निंग फ्रॉम वेर वी आर इंपोर्टिंग दैट टेक्नोलॉजी एंड फाइनली वी विल सी अबाउट पॉलीक्रैक टेक्नोलॉजी ओके तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं फर्स्ट माइक्रोबियल फ्यूल सेल दिस माइक्रोबियल फ्यूल सेल इज अ डिवाइस दैट कन्वर्ट्स केमिकल एनर्जी टू इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी कन्वर्टिंग केमिकल एनर्जी टू इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी इज द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ दिस माइक्रोबियल फ्यूल सेल ओके इट हैज बीन इंस्टॉल्ड इन ए जू इन लंडन इंस्टॉल्ड इन ए जू इन लंडन एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट बोटानिकल वर्ल्ड सेल्फी सो द प्लांट हैज कन्वर्टेड द केमिकल एनर्जी टू इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी एंड इट हैज टेकन ए सेल्फी ओके सो दैट इज अबाउट माइक्रोबियल फ्यूल सेल वेर इट वॉज इंस्टॉल्ड इट वॉज इंस्टॉल्ड इन ए जू इन लंडन next one bharat stage emission standards so india have skipped the bs5 stage and currently india is in the bs6 standards so india recently in 2020 has introduced the bs6 standard and india has skipped bs5 and from bs4 we have directly come to bs6 okay so what is the difference between bs4 and bs6 there is a huge difference first is the diesel particulate filter and selective catalytic reduction so diesel particulate filter and selective catalytic reduction are present in the bs6 engines so that means the diesel or the emission that will be you know that will be more filtered and selective catalytic reduction it will reduce the it will reduce the output that means the output which is coming generally the fumes and all that will be reduced using the catalytic reduction okay next is real drive emission this will be introduced which is, which measures the vehicles emission in real time conditions so real time emission measurement will be done and also the sulfur and the nitrogen concentration in the emission will reduce drastically in the bs6 engines the sulfur and the nitrogen how much it is said that the sulfur traces will be reduced up to 5 times and there will be up to 70% reduction in the diesel engines in the bs6 diesel engine there will be 70% reduction in the nitrogen levels and 25% in the petrol engines okay next one the hydrothermal carbonation technology it is developed by iit kharagpur this carbonation technology is developed by iit kharagpur and it converts the energy and it converts the energy of the wet biomass into a hydrochar like which is that of a coal so it is utilizing it is reusing the waste into and can by converting into a useful compound okay so that is hydrothermal carbonation technology remember who developed iit kharagpur with that is conversion of wet biomass into a hydrochar like that of a coal next one ogjukul glacier ogjukul glacier is in ireland and it was recently commemorated with plague this glacier was declared officially dead in 2014 so if the question is asked where is ogjukul glacier located it is ireland ogjukul glacier in ireland next one ethanol so recently ethanol the price of the ethanol which is procured from the sugar mills has been increased okay so this ethanol is being used to blend into petrol we have the first generation ethanol second generation ethanol third generation ethanol which i have already covered in the previous lecture just to go back and watch it once okay so this ethanol is being produced from the waste in the sugar in the sugar industries okay and also from the sugar also so this ethanol is basically 99% alcohol plus purity which can be used for blending with petrol this so this can be used for blending with petrol that is about the ethanol and one more thing is that 
so these are the first generation biofuels first generation because it is produced from food crops the second generation biofuels are produced from feed stock okay that means the non food crops the third generation biofuels are produced from algae remember first generation second generation third generation the first generation from the first generation is from food crops second generation from feed stock third generation from algae next one gold smith so why this was in use this is because a new mineral has been discovered recently inside a diamond another from a mine in south africa this is a new mineral which is discovered okay it has been found in earth's mantle which covers 80% of earth's volume so in earth's mantle this was discovered and the composition is it has high concentration of niobium potassium and rare earth element lanthanum and cerium so if a question is asked what is a goldsmithite it is new mineral goldsmithite is new mineral and what is its composition it's a niobium potassium and other rare earth elements like lanthanum and cerium so that is about the goldsmithite where it was found it was found in south africa okay next one green crackers so a lot of uh, news we are hearing about the crackers the pollution caused by the crackers for that i see the so indian council for scientific and industrial research csir so it, this has introduced green crackers with these green crackers you know these are the ones which pollute very less so that so that is why they are called green crackers who introduced this C, uh, the csir csir okay so these are less harmful and less dangerous than the conventional ones and they are known as green crackers because they have chemical formulation that produces water molecules so when they are burned they does not produce something which is harmful for the environment they in fact produces the ones like that of water molecules the hydrogen and oxygen which is not that harmful for the environment okay next one total po total polar compounds so this tpc what is this tpc it is used to measure the quality of oil quality of oil so if an oil is reused then the tpc value will increase so tpc value increases every time oil is reheated so reheating of oil is not that good for human health so when the if you see in the fast food centers and also in in lot of uh, lot of food joints what they will do is they will reuse the oil so reusing the oil will make the food harmful for the human beings so that is why there are limitations about how many times the oil can be reused and reheated the fssi has fixed that tpc should be should not be beyond 25% in the in the foods okay the higher level of tpc as i told it is very harmful for the for the health of human beings which can cause hypertension atherosclerosis and alzheimer disease and liver diseases okay so that is about tpc so tpc is which measures the quality of oil next one the torrefaction torrefaction is to reduce the stubble burning what is torrefaction it is to reduce the stubble burning so from where we are importing we are importing from the swedish company so this is a this is a swedish technology and we are importing from swedish so what this the, what this will do this will convert the stubble which is being burned okay so that stubble it will convert into a useful biomass it will be biomass okay it will con convert into a high grade biofuel okay that is why this is important because uh, as we know the pollution in delhi is what we are hearing in news every year and that is one of the reason for the pollution in delhi is the stubble burning in, that is happening in punjab and haryana region so for that we are trying to introduce new technologies where the farmers will be able to use these new technologies okay so this torrefaction is one such technology where this biomass which is available it is converted into a biofuel so the end product is stable homogeneous high quality solid biofuel with a greater energy density and calorific value okay this can be used in various industries next one polycrack technology this polycrack technology why this was in use is because it is a government's first government owned waste to energy plant and recently it was commissioned at the mancheshwar carriage repair workshop in odisha okay so the polycrack technology is india's first government owned waste to energy plant and this was opened in odisha the mancheshwar carriage repair shop remember that is polycrack technology the waste to the waste remember it is waste to energy plant first government one opened in odisha the plant a patented technology called polycrack is first of its kind in the indian railways and fourth in the country it's a fourth kind of plant first with the government it converts multiple feedstock into hydrocarbon liquid fuels gas carbon and water so that is about the polycrack technology okay so now let's revise everything what we have uh, uh, studied till now first microbial fuel cell it's a device that converts chemical energy to electrical energy first it was used in it was installed in zoo in london and using this the botanical first first selfie has been taken 
next one the bs emissions the bharat stage emission standards recently we have moved from bs4 standards to bs6 standards okay the bs6 standards have a lot of advantages like the diesel particulate filter to filter out the diesel and also the catalytic reduction you know, to reduce the particles in the emission okay next the real driving emission rde this will be introduced and also the sulfur and the nitrogen emission or sulfur and the nitrogen uh, you know concentration in the emissions will be reduced by the bs in the bs6 engine next hydrothermal hydrothermal carbonization technology which is developed by iit kharagpur you know to convert the waste bio, wet biomass into hydrochar which is a useful compound okay so the waste biomass is converted into a useful compound next is the oxygol glacier the oxygol glacier is in iceland it's in iceland not ireland sorry i told you ireland previously it's not ireland it's iceland remember it's iceland okay so it was commemorated recently with plague this this uh, glacier was declared dead, dead in 2014 oxygol glacier where it is located in iceland in iceland okay here you can see it's in iceland next one goldschmidt it is a new mineral that is discovered recently in south africa it contains 80% of earth's wall because it contains it is there in mantle and also it is high concentration of niobium potassium and other rare earth elements lanthanum and cerium okay next one green crackers the green crackers are introduced by the csir that is the indian council for scientific and industrial research this has improved technologies where it does not produce the materials that are harmful for the environment next one total polar compounds the tpc total polar compounds determine the quality of oil that we used if an oil is reheated then the tpc value increases okay next one the torrefaction torrefaction is a technology to reduce the stubble burning the torrefaction is conversion of the the biomass that is the stubbles into a useful high grade solid biofuel this is, we we have imported this technology from sweden this is a swedish technology that is torrefaction next one polycrack technology it is the conversion of waste to energy plant that is the first kind of that is the first one by the government of india it is installed or commissioned recently in the mancheshwar carriage repair workshop in odisha by the indian railways it is based on the polycrack technology okay so that's it friends in this lecture i'll see you again in the next lecture till then keep studying and stay tuned jai hind